Recall meningitis assessment by the meningites being observed by the assess man as they put on a puppet show. Assessment findings for this condition include nausea and vomiting, shown by the vomiting fever beaver, which represents fever, another symptom that patients often experience. Nuchal rigidity, shown by the brass knuckles punching the stone neck, is another key sign of meningitis and may present with a positive Koenig's or Brzezinski sign. This is causing the cat to experience a severe headache, shown by the head egg lump, which is another common symptom. Purpura, depicted by the purple cat, is a dark purple rash that can occur on the skin in those with meningeal cockle infection in the bloodstream. This is an emergency and should be treated immediately. Seizures, shown by seizure, can occur due to irritation of the cerebral cortex or a high fever that goes untreated. Photophobia, shown by the baby being afraid of light, is another possible symptom. Infants and young children often present with their own symptoms, including the opus thotinus position, shown by the severe hyperextension of the pistol body, and a high-pitched cry, shown by the crying baby. Upon assessment, one may also notice a bulging fontanelle, shown by the bulging fountain. So to review, meningitis assessment findings include nausea and vomiting, fever, nuchal rigidity, severe headache, purpura, seizures, and photophobia. Infants and young children may present with the opus thotinus position, a high-pitched cry, and bulging fontanelle. It was a fine day at the puppet show theater until those pesky men in tights arrived with that assess man. They turned that puppet show into a boxing arena. I don't know what's worse, that vomiting fever beaver that set the theater on fire, or that other puppet passing out head egg lumps with brass knuckles and punching his stone neck. You know, that puppet that usually looks like a sweet purple cat? On top of all that, Caesar was in charge of lighting the show with his lamp, but instead, he shines it directly on a kid in the audience. Doesn't he know that kid's afraid of light? For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're at it, check out the rest of our infectious disease Picmonics. We've got everything you'll need to remember. Everything from common causes for meningitis, ranging from newborn to elderly, meningitis assessment, meningitis interventions, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.